When Tom Brady announced, when the Buccaneers announced that Tom Brady was going to be taking an 11-day absence from Buccaneers training camp, they said, oh, you know, it's been pre-approved. We knew this is going to happen. It's just for personal reasons, and they refused to specify. A lot of people are obviously going to ask questions about that for good reason, because this is not a Tom Brady thing to do. We've seen two decades worth of Tom Brady playing in the NFL, and for him to miss out on training camp like this is not normal. Yeah, this guy's 45 years old. Yeah, I have no doubts that Tom Brady is going to be perfectly ready to play an NFL season because he's Tom fucking Brady. But at the same time, it just didn't sit well, especially with the way they described it. Personal reasons, nothing else. Now, we're starting to get more reports out that there might be something going on between Tom Brady and his wife, Giselle. Trouble in paradise, Tom Brady and Giselle in an epic fight. And essentially what it boils down to is that she's very upset that he's still playing football. That after he did retire, she was hoping that that was going to be it, that they were going to get to spend some time together. She was going to get to spend time with him and the kids and all this stuff. And she's very upset about that. Reports are she's in Costa Rica spending some time just kind of on her own right now while Tom Brady is still at home in Tampa, still doing shit to get ready for the season with the kids. These are all reports. There's a lot of sources out there, a lot of insiders that are close that are saying it's not something that's abnormal. It's happened to them before. Usually cooler heads prevail and they still continue on. But Jeremy, does any of this make sense to you? My first question is, who the fuck do you have in your life that's leaking all of your personal intimate information? It's so weird. Now, again, to friends. Tom Brady is one of the most famous people uh, in, in the country. You know, he just is. He's 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 a rock star. He, he's, you know, the greatest football player of all time. You know, he's got these GQ model shoots that he does. Like, and obviously Giselle is one of the most famous people in the world and the most famous super supermodel. So obviously the 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 light, the, the spotlight is on these people on, on a level that none of us can understand. But how does people have this intimate information about what is going on with a husband and a wife? Like, it's so weird to me. Who is leaking that information? But with that said, it, it could ahead, very well be Giselle's friends, too. You know what I mean? Like, she could well, be venting stuff. You, you know 100%, what I mean? Like, and yeah, that's yeah. that. Well, it's a question for both sides is like, who's doing this? Because. Like I don't know how either one of them will be comfortable with this information being out there. You know what I mean? And, and why that would that that is such a strange dynamic. But with that said, um, I, I am very concerned. I'm very concerned. You can't not be concerned. He's 45, dude. He's 45 years old. He retired suddenly, which threw a lot of people off. Didn't seem very Tom Brady like for him to retire like he did especially uh, less than a week after being in a position where he could have been in the game that was being played the next weekend. Yep. Um, so for that retirement, didn't seem very Tom Brady-like. And then a couple of months pass, and suddenly he comes back. Then you have the reports about the Dolphins, and you have all these other things going on. I, I think Tom Brady's. I think it's very. I think it's very concerning moving forward into this season. We saw last year. Um, I think it was last year that New Orleans Saints game. Uh, the Sunday night football game. Uh, I've never seen him that completely disconnected in a football game. Now that makes me go back to that and go, what happened there? Because I've been watching Tom Brady since he was in college, since he was in Michigan. That's how long I've known of Tom Brady and been following his career. That game. Now this report makes me wonder, was he having some issues in that game? You know what I mean? That some personal issues that he couldn't separate himself from. The man is only human. I know he's the greatest of all time. I know he's done things that we've never seen before. But if, if this is true, then I think this will have some type of impact uh, moving forward into the season, the early part of the season. Hopefully they get everything worked out. But I, I think this is definitely a reason to be concerned, especially with his language. You know, when he came back, I'm 45 years old. There's a lot of shit going on. He's obviously alluding to the fact that he's got some personal issues that, you know, are being hindered and effect affected by his uh, commitment to football. And we may as well take a look at this clip now. Brady, who looks weird in this clip, uh, a lot of people were speculating that he had more work done, which wouldn't necessarily be a surprise, which is why w when we play the clip a little bit, you'll see his cheeks look a little sunken. Maybe it's just because he's that he was that stressed out. But let's listen to what he says. 
It's all personal. You know, everyone's got different situations they're dealing with. So we all have really unique challenges to our life. And, uh, you know, we're, I'm 45 years old, man. There's a lot of shit going on. So, you know, you just got to try to figure out life the best you can. And, um, you know, it's a uh, continuous process. So it just, Something's off, right? I, I, I've been I've been saying it since like this got announced that it didn't make any sense, and this wouldn't surprise me if it is happening. I also don't think it means all they're done. It just means they're fucking like having problems, right? Uh, he looks like he's on meth. He looks weird, man. He looks like his face looks sunken a little bit. Mm, it looks like he's been stressed. It looks like he hasn't eyes. had any avocado ice yeah. cream in like a week or something. I don't know. What, yeah. What's your take on this whole thing, Beardo? I haven't, uh, looks aside, I haven't seen him that thrown off, like stumped up there on the podium since he was being accused of the deflated footballs. Remember, it, it was a few weeks after he was accused of the deflate gate, and he goes, what? I had no idea. I just grabbed the footballs out of the bag. I didn't know anything. It was, he... It was bizarre then, and it's bizarre now. You you can tell when Brady's uncomfortable and backed into a corner. Uh, this is one of those situations. A and if if it is if it is Giselle who is unhappy, she's truly unhappy with him. This is football. This is one of the most extremely violent games that we play here in America. To send your husband out there him knowing that you're upset, him not being in the right mind. I mean, look at Alex Smith. Look at uh, what's happened to other football players. Just totally nasty, gruesome injuries. You know, football is played full speed. If you don't play full speed, you, you got a good chance to get hurt. And if Brady isn't in there, he's thinking about his wife in the back of his head. It, it's, yeah, I, I'm not sure what's going on with Brady, man. Doesn't look good. Honestly, yeah. though. It, 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 he he looked he looked better there than than he did here. So uh, well, <laughs> you're not wrong there. Oof! <laughs> Such a damn Tom. All right, yeah. I had we need a video had of Rose him Mason. dancing with Trump up on stage. That's a real like of, of that Trump, dance with Trump's. Trump's Trump's Trump is Trump's dance is far better than Brady's. Good lord. Oh.